We're learning how this. Oh, hello. Right, yes. Um, back to shoving off some foils I've just purchased. And there's a little pile there. And this one is vicious. Consquisite data. And don't underestimate this card. It's really good. I've fallen in love with that one. I'm putting them into, into the pockets. I recommend them when you buy any cards to put it straight into one of these. They just they just protect the cards. So let's put it there. Next one. Light up the stage. This is an amazing card as well. And it certainly works if you manage to do it with a spectacle. It's just fantastic. It kind of, uh, it's kind of up there with blue cards for drawing. And the fact it says end of next turn, which is quite good. Next one, I love the name of this one, Theatre of Horrors. And yes, I like to get the date ones. Um, I don't think I'm the only one either. I think the price of some of these pre-release dated cards are um, quite expensive. Good, good investment. It used to be, if you put a date or anything on a card or a different print or something, uh, the value was a lot cheaper. I guess it's because they're not printing millions of them. Like everyone got the same card before, whereas now it's got lots of different versions. Probably makes it more interesting. Oh yes, that's a really good card as well. Alls of Enforcer. Yes, Death Touch and Afterlife. Next card. Skewer. The, the critics, I thought it was cities then. Um, I'm still thinking on this one. Uh, obviously for red it's pretty good, but I'm now converted from Gilgari to Rakdos. Especially after I read that card last week. Uh, as I've joined the Rakdos Party. This is amazing. Legion War Boss is very good. Okay. The fact it just keeps creating creatures. I went from one try. Oh yes, and I've got a a goblin foil token for it. Well I've got lots of them actually, but this is the one to show you. The fact it keeps breeding, I went from one card to two and then to four and uh, they're just amazing, it kind of gives you so another card that creates tokens. And I'm not playing this one anymore, but uh, it was fun at the time. I think keep an eye on it one. Awaken erstwhile. Ooh. In preparation for the conflict, all foresaw the Golgari called upon an army that had slept for millennia beneath the city. And I suddenly realised I didn't got any zombies. Now, again, I like tokens, but I like them foiled, you know? I like them shiny. Like a magpie. So, they actually did a promo. Look at that for a zombie. But hey, if you haven't seen this one before, it's a double-sided foil zombie. So you can choose which zombie you want. Which one you like. How cool is that? Let's pocket this one. Yeah, here we go. Someone's asked me about storage, and uh, I'm going to do a bit more on that. Not today. Oh yes, this is an amazing card as well. I'm surprised it's gone down in value. People aren't giving enough of a go. I've got four of them in a deck. That is it's amazing. Can we get the nice oil on that? Yeah. So they've come down in price um, quite a bit. Might be something to uh, look at if you're looking at uh, buying cards. Not this one. This is gutter bones. I just thought, well, they're not that dear. I'll get it just in case I find I need them. I haven't found any use for it yet. Got my cat there, which I will ask later on what he thinks of the video. 
Um, I got. I thought I'd show you this version of duress. I quite like it. It's a lovely uh, picture. So if people are looking for duresses, this one I uh, recommend. It is very nice. Totally different from all the other dress types. Well, here's one I tried. I think it's a good card. But uh, blade juggler. You get the foils on that. Yeah. Quite good. Three mana for a three two. Take one damage and draw a card. Not bad. Uh, did have in a deck. But um, I have to take it out for room for something else. Not get this card. Death touch is always handy, and the fact it's an instant and draw a card. Blade brand. The pain of searing iron and razor edges pales beside the pleasure of performance. Okay. Looks more like blank juggler, doesn't it? Looks more like juggler than the other one. Right. Here's another Ooh. spectacle. Yes, I'm trying that format out at the moment. Again, the cards I'm showing you, this one isn't one I'm using. I've got none of creatures. Blade Revels, you're only as dead as you feel. Fair enough. I'm feeling all right at the moment. Um, got sun on, sun off at the moment today. Extremely windy. Very volatile weather. Don't worry about the, these, it's just like air going in them and soon as you put them sleeves, they'll be fine. Oh, this is a good card. The Devil. Yes, I think I'm the only one who's actually playing Rathdos at the moment. It was all blue, green, mono blue, mono red. You know, it's easy to get taken in by the spectacle to enjoy a bit of naughty. Ooh, oh, I've been naughty amusement, but make no mistake, the court of Rathdos is a danger. And I'll tell you what. One of, the, one of the reasons I actually like Rakdos is because I actually think the symbol looks like a space invader. Yeah. So it actually looks like something, um, where some of the other ones are just like, yeah, they're nice. But uh, I like that one, reminds me of my past. So I've got a badge coming for that as well. And now more badge. Let's put these over here steady. Here's one I try, but it doesn't quite work for me at the moment. But I thought I'd get them. Foiling on that, I'll get a bit closer, sorry. Rick's Meady Reveler. I'm gonna think right on that. It's kind of like a cantrip. <laughs> yep, I had to go and buy some Dragon Skull Summits. I think I've got the older version, but this card looks a lot better. I like the fact it's actually got a dragon in the middle. And you know, again, I've got the date, date stamp version. Well, I'm just going to read that one, but I'll change your mind. Now, I like to get nice lands, and I've been trying all sorts. Um, I bought these for swamps, uh, but it's. This is kind of like a Rakdos land, which is really cool because it's got like the blood in the middle of it. I don't know if I get the shine on that right. Ooh. Yeah. So blue and black, or red and black on the same land, that's quite cool. It's actually quite cheap. Don't know why. I've also tried getting like the basic land version, so I tried this one. Uh, I was hoping a bit more green and red in it, but so it's not particularly interesting that one. And black one seems to be very dark, and yeah, so this would be good for black blue. If you're playing that, yeah, a lot of blue and black in the picture, so that's uh, again, I'm not doing that. Um, oh, we've come to the end. Oh, okay, well, I've got a lot more foils, but I thought that'd take a lot longer. Um, I think nine minutes is enough. Oh, um, I've got myself a nice drink this time it's chocolate and mint very nice 
I got myself a, a decent coaster for it as well, you know. Uh, oh, look, cats. <laughs> who'd, who'd figure that? Anyway, Kitty, what do you think? Do you think that was a good video? <coughs> what? <laughs> How fucking rude is that?